Morning Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for Halloween for a week. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, there's only four of you viewed the channel last week, so this is pretty much a personal reading. So let's get to it. I'm throwing in a spirit animal oracle this week and then true black, as usual, clarify with Heidi's fantastic black violet tarot. So let's get to it. We'll do that one first. So the card at the bottom is Crow Spirit, Co-Create with Spirit. Um, this is about um, the laws of abundance. I think it's compensation, frequency and praise. It's about crowing with delight. It's about praising what's yours. It's about what's working. Um, so, yeah, just, just be grateful. And also remember that you, you, you're working with a the kind of wider universe you know the universe provides very definitely so that's a great great card to get before we even start the reading let's get to it so we have well okay not sure about that one sagittarius or that one that's better and that's better okay that's good okay right, let's get these in position and get to it uh, on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Justice card, which is in the cold light of day, you will be judged. So make sure you're doing the decent thing. It's it's as straightforward as it gets. It's got scales in one hand, sword in another. You know, you put your case forward. She can't be tempered. You can't plead with her. You can't beg. You can't buy her silence. She just goes, you tell me what you did, and I'll tell you whether it's good or bad. Um, so again, I would work with the universe. Look for what the, the universe is trying to give you and, and go with it. So let's see what we've got here. These are going to need some clarity, I think. Great place to begin with. Um, so you're starting the week off in a really good position, which is the Ten of Cups. It's it's joyful, it's celebratory, it's a resolution. It's could be a proposal of marriage it's, or moving in with somebody. It's, it's a really robust, fantastic energy. I mean, all tens are the completion of something. What's really nice as well is, You've taken the swords, which are obviously quite horrible, and you've got two sword cards, and you've twisted them into this bouquet, into this wreath. So you've actually changed their meaning, and you've softened them right down. So they're not prickly swords anymore. They're just this beautiful golden um, wreath that supports, you know, what's going on up here. So that's really nice. So it's, it's like taking the bad and turning it into something good. Uh, again, crow spirit, yeah, yeah, working alongside... So yeah, I'd be really aware of how much, it, it, I'm assuming people appreciate the tarot, which is why you're here. I always think of the tarot as, as sort of finger posts in the mist. Tarot won't tell you what numbers to put on the lottery, otherwise we'd all have done it by now. Um, but it does kind of go, you're getting close to the edge, you're getting close to the edge, and it keeps putting these signs up going, you're close to the edge of the cliff, you're 50 yards away, you're 10 yards away, you're right on the edge, there's a big sign going, do not take another step. But it won't stop you from taking another step. The universe just goes, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Goodbye. Yeah. Or hello. Finally, you've done it. So that's what it means here about co-creating with spirit. Spirit will put lots of things up. And go, you know when you, you're kind of lying in bed going, oh, I've got a good idea for a business. I know what I should do at work. I know what I should say to my partner. That's going to solve it. Just, I don't know, write it down, but keep it somewhere and then talk about it. And the, the universe and spirit are going, brilliant. They've done what we thought we should do. Move on to the next one. Not liking this card at all. It's not a good card. Um, <coughs> Seven of Swords. It's a card of of liar, like cheater, stealer. Is that you know the biggest dagger is being reserved for the rat. I'm only reading to four of you, but you four should be able to go. Yeah, that's me. I've done something underhand. Or you go. Well, that's not me. I'm absolutely lovely. In which case, somebody's trying to do the dirty on you here. Just be really careful of of water cooler gossip of someone saying something that isn't true. Um, what's unexpected is how big that could turn into. This is a great card in this deck. It's not a nice card, but it's a good card. Two of Swords is a card of stalemate, a card of stagnation. These two swords are just rubbing up against each other and literally wearing each other down to dust. And the important message is getting lost because you're just at a stalemate. So sometimes you need to go, do you know what? You think red, I think blue. Let's let's just walk away. We're not mixing the colours. You're always going to think red. I'm always going to think blue draw a line under it that's what i would say draw a line under this situation here just forget about it draw a line under it move on beginning of the week your short-term future is there are a lot of choices because of this so because you've done that so you've had this fantastic 
you know, you feel pretty good about yourself. It's like, I'm in charge. There's a proposal coming in. It's all happy. It's joyful. There's some horrible sticky stuff down here. It's like, Ugh, it's all friction and friction. It's all frictiony and, and stalemate and stagnant. And then you've got choices. You've got so many choices to choose from that it's almost too much. But what the universe is really telling you this week is if you don't choose one, including the biggest one of all, which is the um, uh, Ten of Pentacles eventually, you know, you're inside this castle. This is your your uh, toughest, m most difficult to achieve goal. This is, you know, I want to be a billionaire by the time I'm 24 and you're 23 now. You know, real tough challenge. These are more attainable. But the universe is going, look, if you want that, go for that. You know, if you want to be a billionaire, then you need to put one foot in front of the other and start doing it. But it does warn you really carefully, look, it will turn to smoke if you don't, it's already starting. So the universe goes, well, what do you want to do? This, 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 this or this. And you go, uh, let me think about it, let me think about it. And he goes, you know what, moving on. Hasn't got time. It will literally, this card will literally just do that and cease to exist as a choice at all. And then you've got to wait for that card to come back around again. So this week you need to make a choice. Yep doesn't have to be the right choice. You can always go, do you know what? That was a mistake. I wish I hadn't done that. That's fine. The universe just goes, well, at least you gave it a go. Yeah. I don't like Brussels sprouts. I'm not eating them. Well, there isn't anything else. You're going to go hungry. Okay, I'll try them. They're not as bad as I thought. Or they go, they're vile. We need to do something to get more food. Yeah. <coughs> it's just as simple as that. Make a choice. And then your long-term future is, you may have to think outside the box because of that. If you look at this guy here, the Knight of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Cups, sorry. <coughs> Pardon me. Knight of Cups, ridiculous armour. You know, why is he armoured like that? He's, it's gold, it's beautiful, he's made it himself. But he can't see out of it, and it doesn't protect him. But he's not about the, the real world. He is about imagination. He's about going into his subconscious. He's about thinking about something. So, really simply put, you can't do it till you've imagined it. There'll be an engineer somewhere who can go, yeah, I can build you a bridge over that ravine. But somebody has to have gone, do you know what? If we built a bridge over this ravine, it would take miles off the journey. Everyone would benefit. Yeah, someone's got to have thought about it first. So let your imagination kind of come to the surface this week and that that will let you make the choice. I don't think you make a choice as a, a rational decision this week, if that makes sense. You know, we're not talking a bank manager going, you can have this loan or this loan or this credit card. It's much more woolly than that. It's like, what if, where if, who with, you know, and it's all very, yeah, that, that really feels like it's making sense to me. You know, what is it you want? Who do you want it with? And, and where does this happen? Yeah. <clears throat> the Empress on top here. Your present position, you, you really are in control, Sagittarius. You, you know what you need to do. The Empress is, um, well, there's a couple of things. <laughs> One, sometimes this is called the um, uh, proposal card or a marriage card, and this is a pregnancy card. So I'm going to leave that there. You can do whatever you like with that information. That's the universe going. You do know when someone does this to another person, this could be the result of that. Yeah, so... I'm going to leave that with you. Um, but the Empress is is nurturing, caring, and she's all about um, the cycle of life, literally the cycle of life in terms of, you know, having a child. But, you know, that, that sort of nurturing, loving, um, uh, what's the, earthy energy. It's really a very sensual as well, very sensual kind of time at the moment. I always say to people, sometimes you have a bath because you're grubby and you just need a bath. And sometimes you just want to feel the water on your skin and you just lie in a bath and luxuriate in it. It's a very sensual feeling. That's what this is. It's a lovely, sensual feeling. It's very, it's a very attractive energy. I'd hold on to that as long as you can this week. Yeah, there's, a, there's you know, we've got another two. We've got the lovers. We've got, um, there's some trial involved. So maybe, you know, are, are you the knife or are you the, the rat? Uh, or are you, are you not involved with this someone else completely? There's definitely some sort of trial and there's definitely something to do with a significant other. Four of swords on top of the two of swords. So I think eventually, you, you know, you're just going to go, do you know what? This is just wearing me out. I'm exhausted. I'm just going to put my feet up and, and think about it for a little while. I'm just going to have a little nap. Yeah. And just think on. The moon um, on this particular card, moon is sometimes a card of deception, two-facedness, gossip. So my feeling is 
someone saying something about you that might not be completely true. But what you need to do with that is go, do you know what? I'm just going to let that flow. If someone thinks I'm not pulling my way to work or someone thinks I'm not good enough for my partner, that's their issue, not mine. Yeah. Because you'll either know it or you won't. You'll either go, yeah, right, I'm swinging the lead. Or you'll go, sod off, I'm working my bits off. You just don't see that. And you're not going to show it to them either. Yeah, I'm not. It, there's nothing here that suggests you suddenly stand up and be counted. It's just, you just need to let those things go. So I think this card here and this card here are about that. King of Pentacles, um, high vibrational energy. King of Pentacles is <clears throat> very, very satisfied with what you've got. And you have a lot as well. It's... It's being aware of your abundance and being aware of your power and being aware of self. Um, just being in a really powerful position. Love that energy. Love that energy. So, um, yeah, you, what I would say is if you've got the King of Pentacles on top of this choice card, you're going to make the right choice. The King of Pentacles is like, I know what I'm supposed to do here. You will make the right choice. And then your long-term future. I mean, I really love what Heidi's done with this card here. <coughs> some some cards really sum up what they're about. And this is one of those. So this could be you here. And you're hanging on to your money. You're hanging on to what you've got. You're hanging on to your partner. You're hanging on to your job. You're hanging on to... I always hoover up on a Wednesday and we always have beans on toast on a Friday. You know, you're holding on to the status quo. And in these difficult times, I understand that that's why people do that. But just be really careful that probably doesn't show it as well on here i like to kind of do this with it so there's things going on above you that you're not seeing so you're you're quite safe here and it, it's a card of holding on to what you've got it's a card of the status quo it's a card of sameness and it's like the two of um swords is not as aggressive but both of these are, are almost stalemate cards Okay, holding on to what you've got, which is great, but there's a whole universe out there. You could be so much more. So just be careful this week. Um, I think you're in a very good position of power um, with these two cards, the Empress and the King of Pentacles. You just need to make a choice. Don't not make a choice. That's the really important thing this week. I think not making a choice, and it could be that your decision-making ability has been affected by this card here, and the deceit of the moon, there's someone sort of gossiping about you a little bit. So if you're not careful, Sagittarius, you could end up going, do you know what, I want to make a decision and I've decided I'm going to go to Hong Kong or I've decided to finish with a partner or I've decided to ask this person out. I say, I'll just stay where I am. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm all right. You know, that's it's not it's not all right where you are. Yep. So make sure you do something this week about that. The spirit's got you back, most definitely. So this is the week to do the thing that you need to do. And then next week we can talk about where that takes you. Sagittarius, always, always a pleasure to read for you. Please do like, share, subscribe so other Sagittarians can go. What a great channel. Uh, what great cards. Because they are beautiful, the True Black Deck. And I'll see you in November. Take care.